All right, next uh, is the 15 inch LCD screen that's going in the speaker panel. So what we've got here is, I don't know, a very uh, thin sheet of uh, <laughs> LCD. And you'll notice that there's, uh, uh, I guess the circuitry uh, is mostly covered with the exception of that one little uh, slot there. When we look at this, uh, this fits perfect for what it is. The controller board and ribbon cable will all kind of branch out there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in and uh, try to figure out how I'm going to install this. There are little, I guess, slots for maybe some screws or something. I don't know. Like, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and set it in there and try to figure out next uh, step. This guy takes a little MacGyvering here. So um the bezel that's just uh behind this is too thin to actually drill you know straight into it uh, otherwise you'll you know you'll you'll see all the the screws on the front side um so what <clears throat> i'm gonna do is i'm taking um i found you know these are little blocks of wood from uh, like home depot uh there's some kids like kits that sometimes they do. I found that laying around and I think the the wood pieces are absolutely perfect uh, for what I'm trying to do. But what I'm gonna do is take the uh, screws and drill down into this, uh, you know, this piece of wood instead of down. So this stuff will hold in um, this LCD monitor and I'm not sure if I'll put anything up against this. I think naturally this is going to go, you know, right into the wood itself. Um, regardless of what I do, I might put something here, but this is the circuitry and I'd rather not, if possible. I'm trying to think, uh, if you aren't so lucky to have kept a <laughs> kid's uh, kit, uh, whatever that is, uh, from Home Depot, uh, you know, they usually have free events here. Uh, but I had one of those. But I think you could do just as well by taking two paint uh, stirrers. You might have to like, I don't know, wood glue that so that it's twice the thickness. Uh, because at least with mine, the bezel is like absolutely perfect with that 15.9. So I, I've got to like uh, very carefully place this so that there's no seams on the other side. And I, I know for a fact that this just won't be thick enough, but two of those could be thick enough, three to be extra safe. But I was fortunate to have these guys. These are completely flush. These hang over a little bit, but uh, for what it is, uh, there's no spacing issues after this thing gets installed. So wish me luck. So my next step uh, was the ribbon cable. Uh, this came in a box, uh, the controller board. I put feet on it, as you can see. I've got four feet uh, that are holding these boards up and two on this side. Uh, all of this came secured together. Uh, the only thing that I did was put the feet on here. This ribbon cable, uh, let's see here. Uh, it came in a, two, two ribbons came in here. So I've got one extra in case you screw it up, I suppose. Now this is kind of touchy. So um, what you can see here is this connection is secured, or at least I think it's secured. Um, and I didn't put a lot of pressure on it. I, I just lined it up um, and the ribbon, you can see there's blue on one side and the other is you know, white. I just lined that up with the teeth and then uh, once everything looked straight, then I put equal pressure on both sides so that there's no, um, like the seam is seamless. Um, otherwise you'll kind of see the teeth, kind of like what you see up at the top there, but you would see the teeth between those two gold plates. So you know that's secure. I kind of gave it a little twist -a roo as you can see, and um, basically I'm going into the board here. Again, you can see the white 
uh, and then there's the blue side up. Uh, I guess I'll take the other ribbon cable. You can see that the other side is silver and you want the blue side up facing the board. Uh, but I, I gave it a little twist here um, just so you've got flexibility when you're um, moving things around. If you don't have it, um, you know, rounded, I suppose, uh, you've got a chance for uh, bending the, the ribbon, which by default, right, the, the ribbon is bent, right? I just prefer it to not be um, always bent. This guy, once you get it into this slot here, uh, what you've got to do is that little like gray piece there it kind of it's an open flap so what you first got to do is open it up by just you know uh, grabbing both corners and pushing up and it'll kind of fold open like a, a door hinge um, and then i slid the blue um, piece in there and then i folded the black back down securing the ribbon cable I've got to go and test this, um, but I did have to buy a uh, separate adapter here that uh, you know that I'm plugging in here. I'm just plugging it into the black here for power, um, and that should turn on the uh, monitor itself. A part of me says that I need to uh, confirm that it turns on. Uh, these will basically control the color and you know the other features, I suppose. Uh, moving the, the the frame, I suppose, on the, the screen as well. Shouldn't have to do too much on here other than push the on button is my hope. Um, and when I'm connecting it to a PC, there's the HDMI that I'm going to be plugging it into. Um, a part of me says, um, you know, we're going to test this out. But then also on that same note, I've got to get this secured where... There's going to be blocks of wood holding this in because there's nothing there to hold it in. I could screw in like super tiny holes there, but you got to be super careful because the the, the width of the board itself uh, and the grooves that we've made here, um, you know, the, the pre-cut, there's not a lot of space between that and the board itself um, on the other side. So I feel like screws would go through it. So I'm going to Put this uh, wood blocks uh, around it, holding it in, and see what happens. So all I did was plug in the power adapter and it turned on by itself. You can see <laughs> it's super paper thin. Um, you can see right through it, basically. Um, I haven't secured it yet, so here's the... I mean, there's probably not a whole lot to, to even see here. It's just going to flash the colors. Uh, so that is working. That's awesome. Now we got to secure this in. So how I secured this panel uh, was I took some scrap wood. Um, I took it from, a, I think it was a Lowe's uh, kids picture frame kit. Uh, sometimes I have some free events around here and uh, I had uh, a bunch of scrap wood. Um, you could probably uh, get away with using some paint stirrers. Um, you'll probably need two or three of these uh, in terms of thickness. Um, but I, I know for a fact one of these is um, about the same width of that LCD uh, display there. So you'll need a few of those if you don't have, um, uh, I guess, sheets of wood there that, you, or scrap wood here. But all I did was I, I screwed in one screw into the side, and then here's the other one and then the other one. I just put one in there. Um, they technically move side to side. It's just enough uh, where it's it's touching the panel itself. Uh, and I've got nothing down here. When I lift it up, uh, everything is secure. And I'm gonna carefully do that. And I'm, I've got the, the panel on. I'm just gonna push one of these. It's in power saving mode, but you can see there she is. So uh, that is a success. Uh, I've got uh, these LED rings that I'm going to be putting into the, um, the speaker panels. And I've got speaker uh, sets here that I'm going to also install here in a moment. 
Uh, let's go to the next so I'm step. Installing the LED ring and the speaker next. So you can see this side is all complete. It's very clean. Uh, one caveat here is there's these little sticks uh, that come with the um, the kit itself, and I believe that is with the assumption you're going to get a one uh, strand ring, which I'm going to show you the ring that I'm going to be using in a minute. But these little guys, uh, there's four of them, and they just come taped to this uh, panel here. These things fit perfect. However, when it comes to uh, the speaker, now, you know, maybe if you get the speaker that uh, that is part of the Amazon kit that, um, you know, by request that Rec Room will send to you, Maybe that will fit perfect uh, with the the speaker that they provide or that they recommend, and then the uh, the ring that they recommend. But uh, I wanted to go I don't know I wanted to go big here. So uh, the the one that's provided in the Amazon link is like a one ring LED, and what that is is that sits you know uh, the, the wires sit here just like what you see over here. And the ring sits right on these little sticks here, like one ring. Now, I wanted to have multiple rings. Um, so this whole LED, like, or, or the grill is filled with LEDs rather than just one ring. It looks awesome. So uh, the rings that I'm using in the, uh, the speaker, these things aren't going to do because uh, it's, it's too flush, which is fine. The purpose of these sticks from what I'm reading and what I'm seeing is really just to keep the um, uh, the LED rings in place. Uh, but you know, once you get those suckers in, um, you know, they're not going anywhere. You can kind of move the, the angle of the ring by wiggling the wires, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but uh, what I had to do was, there's really not much of a difference here. You can see the, the thickness is about half and let's see if i can line this up here it's about half of what is supplied there and it fits perfect and the speaker you know bit here you know these things are essentially going like right there so uh, what i did was i took uh, a paint stirring uh, stick one of these guys and what i found was is you can just use scissors on this <laughs> this thing so what I did was uh, I just took, you know, these sticks that aren't working for me and I just lined it up to get the length. And then I, I literally just took regular household scissors and I cut right through the stirrer and until it fit perfect, um, I just kept trimming the, the width. So this little guy is just going to go right on top and then you're going to, you know, fill in the, the, the four holes there. But let me talk about the the rings next. So the rings you can see here is, uh, we're not using all of them. I've already like uh, uh, removed them from the original base, which is just a solid cut there. I uh, found a guy on Facebook uh, in one of the LED uh, Facebook groups, believe it or not. These guys are uh, recreating uh, the DMDs in color. It's, it's awesome. So there's two rings here in this set that we're not going to be using, but uh, he led me to these things and he actually so uh, soldered. Let me kind of show you what it looks like here. Actually soldered them as well for me and he shipped them over. That was extremely nice and uh, incredibly grateful here. So let me see if I can showcase the soldering job here. So. When you are soldering, you've got an example here, I suppose. So, so if, if you don't solder this, um, you've basically got uh, each one of these rings need power. So you can see there's a, uh, a green wire on each one as the uh, ground, and he's connected each one of those rings. So, and then the power one's just going right across the, the side there. But that's pretty much it. So he's got uh, the power going all the way across. So I've got these two ends. I've got a male and a female end here. So all this is doing here is we're gonna stick this in. We're gonna try to line it up. Um, 
and uh, you just kind of wiggle the wires around until it is at your satisfaction. So um, basically that's <laughs> that's pretty much it. And the uh, what I found was the other one, um, I, there's a little lip on these grills. I just set the corner on that lip of the grill and uh, I, I basically just centered it with the uh, little wires here um, until it looked about right. When the speaker goes uh, over the top, um, it looks really good. So that's pretty much it. Um, let's see here. Trying to look at the camera and this at the same time. So yeah, there you have it. The, the grill has a little lip around it. I just put that little bottom part of the LED resting on it so that we can place these sticks over it and, um, and put the speaker over it. That's, that's really all there is to it. I did think about putting a uh, hot glue over the, um, over the top of this, but I, you're not going to be able to wiggle this around. I'm trying to be uh, super careful here with one hand here, but, um, I'm going to, uh, install that, just go right over the top and then put the speaker over that ring and you'll have those wires hanging out and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, but it looks awesome. Um, uh, once those LEDs are kicking, um, it's it's going to be vastly superior than the one ring, which is essentially like what you see there. It would have been like the second or third ring here is what uh, Rec Room uh, Assembly has. And though awesome, I think this is uh, tenfold uh, better. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I've done a little tinkering, and you can see uh, when I was happy, I uh, taped the wires down to exactly where they're at. And you can see there, my little workstation here, I just put a couple blocks of wood on the corners there. I was playing with it, so here we go. So this is the look of it. Pretty sweet. Try to get a good angle of it. It's about as center as it can get. Awesome. So here's the panel itself. That turned out awesome. All right, so just gotta wait on some of the screws that uh, I need for the Plex and I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I'm gonna start maybe putting the coin door and the USB um, in here and you know I was saying this thing's not uh, probably equipped to put all this stuff in here but uh, we're gonna soon find out here um, the assembly video does have the coin door in there uh, so I'm like you know, I'm gonna give it a shot but I started with something easy first and that was just this uh, USB cord all, all I did was feed the uh, end into the hole um, to cut the art I just used an exacto knife I uh, carefully made an X and then I just pushed the, um, you know, the, the vinyl in here. Uh, it's going to just fit right in here. I'm, um, there's a lid or a cap to this USB. All that is is uh, it came with, here, let's see here, came with a bunch of bolts and um, one of the bolts um, was this little cap here. You know, it just opens and, and closes here. I'm trying to open it with one hand, but it's probably not gonna uh, do it justice here. But this little ring here, uh, I put on first. I fed it through the wire, and then it's up against the uh, lip here. There's little grooves on here that's going to catch the nut itself uh, to secure it into the cabinet. So uh, I'm just gonna have that lip uh, at the top so that it feeds down when you open it. So you can see it flushes well there, and then I've got a small little border around the button, uh, just a little accent. So on this, th this side, uh, what you've got to do is connect this with one of these bolts uh, or nuts. And it seems that the only one that uh, will actually go up against those grooves uh, to secure it uh, right there there's just like one or two uh, threads feeding through. 
There's only one that actually fits that thing. I don't know what the point is of these guys. Maybe if there was a, a larger uh, thread of some kind, but it's interesting that those came with this package uh, is this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed that through and then just uh, twist it around the thread and we'll be good to go.